Today we're gonna to be going over five moves that every single Shifty player should have in their bag. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content. So the first move that we're gonna go over is gonna be the staple for every single Shifty player's game, which is gonna be our hang cross. But we're gonna go over a few different details that are gonna help you actually make this move effective and get it to work. And then from there, everything is gonna build off your hang cross going into our next four moves. All right, so to start with our hand cross, there's gonna be four huge keys that we have to do in order to get this to work. So one of the first mistakes that I see with young players is you have to understand when you're doing a crossover, your hand cross is actually a counter because it's a counter to the straight drive. So in order to make this look right, if I were to do a straight drive, I'm gonna push hard off this back leg and make sure I dip that inside shoulder to get around this defender right here. So in order to start our crossover off the same way and make it look identical to our straight drive, I need to push hard off this back leg and get into this split stance. Push hard off the back leg and then reach over and get your weight to this front leg. So the second mistake that I see when people do their hang cross, as you can see right now, I have my defender's feet here to represent. If I start my hang cross and I push off the back leg well, if I don't ever get this foot outside of their frame or outside of his foot, he's never gonna feel threatened to have to open up or to slide with you. So when you push hard off this back leg, make sure you reach with that front leg and get the ball and that foot outside of his frame and shift that weight over the front leg so he can turn before I decide to come back. All right, now for this third key. Remember, we gotta have everything look exactly like our straight line drive going right. And if you're driving and trying to turn around this corner tight here, you should naturally have that inside shoulder dip and get those shoulders over this leg, which is gonna allow you to take that tight corner and a good first step to get around it. So when I start my crossover here, remember I push hard off the back leg, get my foot in the ball wide, but I can't leave my chest perfectly centered here or I'm not gonna be able to sell it the same way. So when I start here, push off hard, Lean this way and get that inside shoulder dipped and those shoulders turned a little bit, getting all your weight on this leg before you decide to come back. So if you wanna know if you're shifting your weight properly and doing this hand cross the way I taught it, if you shift all your weight to this right leg, you're naturally gonna cave in this back leg where you have more of a horizontal shin angle and you're gonna drag that foot a little bit. So if you look at some of the best players like Kyrie, AI, when he does his crossover, they push hard off the back leg and they get everything over to this leg, which allows them to drag here and help them decelerate and then come back over. So now we're gonna get into the four moves that are gonna build off your crossover. But first, we gotta clean up the mistakes that most people are making coming out of this cross. So you can be efficient into that footwork and truly be shifty and explosive with your moves. So when most young players do their crossover, when they get their defender to bite, they do this little skip reset before they decide to go the other way. Now a skip reset isn't necessarily wrong, but in the scenario that you get your defender to bite and shift here, we wanna be able to get downhill without any wasted movement. So instead, you know, when I drag my back foot here, I reach with that front leg, and now when I decide to cross the ball over, that foot I was dragging with, I now just place it down. So I should be pretty parallel for the most part. And now this first step is gonna be with that inside foot dipping around tight with that low inside shoulder turning that corner. So this first one that's building off of that hang cross is gonna be a two-step drag. So for the footwork for this, when I start my cross, I get that back foot that was dragging down and I take this first step with the inside foot. A lot of players, especially younger players who aren't moving fluid with the ball yet, they're gonna try to put this second dribble down right away on this foot. I actually wanna take off and run with the ball for two steps. So when I cross this ball over here, when I'm going full speed, it's gonna be spinning in my hand. I wanna be slow to put the ball down and take off and run. Long first step with the inside foot, get all the way to the second foot, and my weight should be over this leg, and that's when I finally stop and go ahead and drag that ball back. So for these first three moves we're doing building off of our crossover, it's important to understand that every shifty player has an explosive first step 
and then they're able to stop on a dime. So we're gonna work on three different footworks that are gonna help you, help you start and stop really well so you can get in and out of cuts clean and efficient so you can break people off. So the second footwork that we're gonna do is gonna be an inside foot speed stop with a behind the back dribble. So everything's gonna start the same. I do my crossover. The first step is gonna be with this inside foot, but it's important that I get this inside shoulder low, dip this corner, but this first step needs to be long. So I can't have a short first step here because he's never gonna feel threatened to open his hips or to shift and slide with me. So I wanna be able to get him to turn and run off of one step. So I start here, get to my normal position, drag that foot. Now first step with the inside foot long, and then I'm stopping on this step. So long explosive first step and then stopping on the same foot. And now the other foot just comes here as I go behind the back snatch. So this third one building off of that crossover is gonna be an inverted drag. Luca loves to do this move a lot. So when I start here, the full is gonna be identical to the speed stop to start. So I go ahead and cross the ball over, long first step here, but instead of bringing that foot all the way here and snatching behind the back, I'm gonna go ahead, if my defender cuts me off and I hit my shoulder on him, turning that corner tight, long first step, and then I'm gonna drag it back off that very first step. So it's very important again, long step so he has to turn and run and get in front of you and then break off and stop on a dime on this inside foot. Before I get into this last move here, if you're interested in a free scoring workout, make sure you visit that link on our page. This next one is gonna be an in and out dribble, but it's gonna be a little different than your typical in and out. So I'm gonna start everything the same like my normal hand cross, but I'm gonna feel him sitting middle here. So I'm gonna go ahead and give him the bait that he wants by turning this ball back toward the middle and stepping with this left foot. Remember, we wanna sell everything with our entire body. So I step here, I drag that foot, and now I'm gonna turn those shoulders and step this way, giving him that bait. And then I push the in and out dribble out. And now this inside foot is gonna be my first step turning that corner tight. When I do this though, I wanna make sure that my in and out looks very similar to a push cross over the top. So when I do a push cross, I turn those shoulders this way. So when I lean here and step, I wanna turn those shoulders and give him everything selling that way before I decide to come out with that first clean inside step.